In the snake-infested waters of Tonle Sap, I've joined forces with a family of fishermen. I'm hoping to see a fish that's been busy biting chunks out of people here. But to stop our net from snagging on submerged yeah. branches, it's necessary to jump in. And it's become clear that I'm not here just to watch. I didn't actually realise that this was going to be part of the deal. Um, sign language, I was just told, get in the water. If, as I now suspect, the pufferfish are biting in self-defence, then corralling them in a net is just about the last thing I should be doing. I'm starting to wonder if I'll be the next victim. Something just got me, something just got me. I don't know what that was. I think that could have been a catfish spine or something. With the net freed from snags, it's time to haul it in and find out what we've caught. There's a huge variety of fish, but only one of them interests me. This is something different. This is something different. This is the fish, they tell me that's been biting people here. Behind its harmless appearance, this pint-sized animal packs some vicious weaponry. This is not a fish to be trifled with. Just being very careful here, just hoping it doesn't move suddenly. But I can see very clearly now those mouth parts. Now that I've got one, I want to test its bite. Oh, that was a very graphic demonstration. That's almost cut that fish in half. It's actually gone through the backbone. This fish has a piranha-like ability to slice off bits of flesh in the blink of an eye. And looking at that, that triangular wound, I'm left in no doubt that if any part of me were to touch those jaws, it would just slice clean through. And this one is not alone. In just 20 minutes, we've pulled up dozens of them. It's all adding up. You rarely find pufferfish in the market. Because of their deadly toxins, they're left in the water, where they're multiplying unchecked. There are now swarms of these potentially dangerous fish swimming right under people's feet. From everything I've heard and now seen, I'm left in very little doubt that a bite from a pufferfish can be every bit as severe as a bite from a piranha. The Mekong, it turns out, is a minefield in more ways than one. You never know what your next step could bring.